Good morning, guys. Hi from ACI, back with another video. We're heading off to the shop, so uh, let's go see what we're working on today. Are you here Saturday? Morning, He's Nate. It up Saturday. Yo, do you think that we could so, get a nice coffee and maybe yeah, like dude, some donks? Yeah, maybe like a bacon oh, egg and cheese. Or something. Yo, what do you think of this Ferrari? Ferrari Fudge is working on so it. What we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? Remember, Lamborghini underneath the Lambo went to Enzo Ferrari. Okay, he didn't want to make him a car, so he built one. Yeah, because Enzo better. Ferrari told Lamborghini that there's it's trash, bigger, faster, and better. And now they're bought out by Volkswagen because Volkswagen's the best. They make the Beetle. Some of really these Ferraris are still that. made in Italy. You know what I'm saying? Lamborghini is made by the best Volkswagen. What? Volkswagen also owns Bugatti, Audi. <laughs> Why are you looking away? Fiat. No, not Fiat. Fiat. Scott. Scott. S A. Skoda. Skoda. And C. Fiat. Volkswagen owns the world. world. So Ferrari is owned by the Fiat 500. No, it's, it's cool all though. Italian. No, it's cool though. You see the Ferrari logo? You see the Ferrari yeah. logo? You ever see Justin's sticker? Where is his sticker? Justin, you got a sticker? Oh, dude, he's got the look, Ferrari look, look, look. fudge. Ferrari fudge, That's baby! Like baby. <laughs> BMW Ferrari specialist. I got the badge. Yeah. Volkswagen Auto Group <laughs> specialist, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let me get that coffee. <laughs> hey, Fudge. Ferrari Fudge. Back at it. Fudge, what kind of Ferrari are we working on here? 355 F1 Spider. What year is it? 99. What do you think of it? Um, the car is extremely clean, but it's <laughs> up. So. Some motor problems? No, the motor's fine. Something with the transmission. It uh, doesn't like to select any gears, and then when it does go into gear, it stalls out. Somebody had done a full engine out service on it, and then all of a sudden this problem came up. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to go through it and figure out what's wrong with it. Wow, baby. Ferrari fudge back at it again with another Ferrari. Yeah. Another day, another M. What are we working on, Fudge? Can you wait till I get the car? Like, with the hood open and everything? So I can <laughs> nice, dude. Just come over here bum rushing me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are we working on? Well, I'm going to show you guys what we're working on. This golf car is getting a brand new transmission. The blue and one? And the bottom one, I just yep. did the 15 uh, PSI log with the UM. That was good, so we turned it up to 22 PSI, just did another log. Um, so they're gonna revise that file, and then they'll send me the 30 pound log, and I'll go get 85. And now I'm gonna bring an all track in, and we're gonna do the APR coil packs and new plugs um, on the UM tuned all track. Sweet. MQB day. We got Joe and Martin. Oh! What are we doing over here, Joe? Uh. One bolt decides to fight me, so uh, we're having an issue. Yep. We'll get it done, though. <laughs> get in there, Martin. Get in there, Martin. That's a tight one. That is a tight one. I think I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna do like a little bit, like build up on it. Just spit on it, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fudge. Hoods hey, up. Tyler. Hoods oh, up. We got the M4 in the bay. What are we doing? <laughs> um. Okay. What do you know about M4? It's an Where's inline, the weak point? It's an inline six. Where's the weak point? In an M4? Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Well, you're gonna buy one, you need to know. I don't know. I guess it must be the crank hub. <laughs> Come here, I'll explain. To you. <laughs> so what's this piece, Fudge? So, let me see if I can find one of my one of my old ones. Ah, perfect. Okay. This is an OEM crank hub. Okay. As you can see, it's three three separate pieces. Yep. Um, this front gear drives your timing chain. And then this back gear drives your oil pump chain. Okay. The problem is you don't normally see it under stock, you know, tune conditions, but who buys a M4 and, and leaves it stock? So this gear right here, because there's these small little friction discs, which I don't think this might be missing, but um, the friction disc will actually wear out and then this will spin but it's so this will spin separately from this and then your timing will go off and then if it spins bad enough your piston and your valves can make love and boom gots you know what i'm saying well we have a solution one of the very many out there this is the vargas spline drive so as you can see this is one piece so your timing gear can't actually spin aside from the crank hub itself Plus, on the end here, so you can see the stock one, it's splined. So when you drive the bolt into the crankshaft, these splines actually eat their way into the crankshaft to, to add even another second layer, layer of protection. Um, this is a great kit. I've done it. It's probably my fifth one. Um, comes with a new crank bolt because this is a stretch kit, so it's very important to change. Um, oil chain tensioner um, retainer, a new oil chain tensioner cog, and it comes with the crank hub capture. So after this is all done and this is on the car, you put this capture, I'll show you what it looks like. Over the front of it. And that actually stops, as you can see, this is keyed to the crank bolt. So if that crank bolt were to ever come loose it can't go it can't even come loose because once that's over that it stops it holds the whole assembly in place so that's even another layer of protection that this has um it's it's the weakest point of these cars and this is it's not cheap to do but for an added you know for peace of mind it's 100 percent worth it especially if you plan on going stage one in a box sweet hey nick what do we got here? What is it? Camera projector, dude. Bryce definitely ordered that because he has nothing else better to do with his money. Yeah, but... It's not my transmission jack I want it. It's a projector. Probably oh, for his office. Mounted. Who would order that? What is it? Oh. You know, I'm still waiting for a transmission jack for the last year because I, I have to take the transmission out of that golf R and that golf R, and guess what? I still didn't get it. Those are intakes for R7 that I ordered because I got to get shit done. I think I'm going to order a training. God damn, this dude's feeling a little hefty. <laughs> where's Martin? Yeah, where's Martin? Wait, you got you drove the 392? Can you set up a table? Yeah, he did that just to set up a table. He's upset we're friends. I know. Set up a table, one of you little <laughs> Somebody owes me $20 and I have to put gas in the Jeep. That's Joe's job, so don't tell Joe. It's Joe's job. It's his, he's working on the Jeep. So he's got to fill it up with gas. Right? I think you're right, Tyler. Thank you. Go figure. <laughs> can't get money from these guys, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Nick! Yeah? Any updates for us today? I saw that um, one of your clients came in. <laughs> That's what we needed to get the last Thank one. you, Nate Gray. Now I can take your transmission out of your car that I've been waiting for this wheel lock.
But guess what, it's already five o'clock, so you know what, I'm just gonna literally go home, shower, fall asleep, and then I'll take the tranny out tomorrow. There is no sense can, of taking the tranny out now. You can play fours with me, though. No, well, if I take my Xbox home. Yeah. Fudge, what's going on over here? What's up, Tyler? A little update? You want to update? Yeah, we got a, you got a lot going on here now. Yeah. Um, so with these cars, there's a lot of bullshit that you have to take off or take out of the way to actually access like the full complete engine. Um, you can see the amount of parts that I've taken Whew. off so far. Here we have the air to water um, intercooler. Uh, we have your oil cooler, we have auxiliary pumps, um, some pieces of fan, the actual fans off and everything. So we have access to the front here. Um, so all this bracing, there's there's a big aluminum brace that goes back here and then you have your carbon brace that goes in the front. It has to come off because essentially we have to take off the, the valve uh, cover to get access to lock the camshafts in place. And then um, the part that we're gonna be changing is behind this crank pulley here. So we have the stretch fit belt all the way, the normal belt, some oil cooler parts, some inlet. Um, there's a lot of stuff to take off. And then swapping the actual part takes about 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah. So it's the tear down that's a long yeah, part. Yeah, tear down's a lot on this car. We're getting there. Yeah. Just vibe. Just one vibe. It's so nice, you see it twice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a vibe.